Now I'm up here on the far end of Calador for a very whirlwind tour of the resort centre today. Now I'm over here making a few videos so I couldn't leave the resort without popping down towards Calagran but we're going to walk through the resort centre, we're going to see what's open as we go through, we're going to have a quick look at the main shopping street as well and we're going to head on down to Calagran Beach. Now I am going to be back to make much more detailed guides as we go on into the summer but while I was over here I thought let's go and check out and see what Calador is like at the beginning of May and it's looking rather marvellous. I'm actually just starting my walk through Calador Centre here over by the Aloha snack bar here. Very very beautiful, it looks really cool and what a difference to what we saw over the winter. Now look finally the work seemed to have been done, the tables and chairs are out. Calador is open for the summer so just uh, taking a very quick look at Avenida Tagomago, which is the main shopping street down here. All the shops are back open, which is really good to see. Lots of choice down here. I've got some chain shops down here as well if you want to do some shopping. So I'm just coming down past the Crazy Golf. Right in the centre of Calador, right in the centre where you can see where all the restaurants are. Now I can't wait to see what Calador is going to look like this summer. I can't wait to see how busy all of these restaurants are. The atmosphere down here during the summer months is just fantastic. And of course because it's pedestrianised as well, you really, really get a really good atmosphere down here. Great choice of restaurants down here too, look. I can see a a Mexican style restaurant here and then they have Japanese and Thai down here too as well as your usual tapas and Spanish food but you can see how many people they're expecting out here look at this sea of tables and chairs I think it's going to be very 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 busy this summer So I can see some prices here for, for drinks. I'm outside the little tavern here, a little tiny, a little tiny pub tucked in, in between all the restaurants. Now I can see prices, we can, we're looking at four euros 50 for a glass of house wine. House spirits and mixers six euros 50 and the bottle of San Miguel is three euros 50. Lots of little bars down here, I can imagine well, I do know actually these get very, very busy during the summer months. Now, while we're down here, let's go and have a very, very quick look at Cala Petita Beach. See what it's looking like this afternoon. Now, I know I've got some very big fans of Calador who do follow my channel, but I'm just walking down towards Cala Petita here because it's just off the main centre here in Calador. Now, if you are considering coming over here on holiday, make sure you check out my pros and cons of Calador video too. Find out what it's really like. I do have a website article all about that too. This resort may suit some holiday makers more so than others. Of course, elsewhere on the island, you do get the big sweeping beaches with the restaurants and all the facilities right behind the beach. But here, you have to walk down to the little coves a little bit more. And we are just approaching Cala Petita now. If you are coming down here, whether you're coming down here for the day to visit or you're coming down here for a holiday, just check out this little cove and it's absolutely stunning. Now, right in front of me, you can see here, you can see the Cala Petita restaurant. There's a nice little restaurant you can come down, book a table, come and get some lunch. You can see the Calador Hotel as well, right in front of me, which is right on this gorgeous little beach. Don't forget to, you can also book that hotel as well, or we'll find out more information about the Hotel Calador on the link in the description that text below this video, also on my website as well, so go ahead and check that out. 
Now, like so many of the Calador beaches, Calapatita isn't a big beach at all. It's a very, very small beach. But it's a very beautiful beach. Now, it's amazing to see it so busy here, so earlier on in the season. I can even see some people in the water swimming. I can see one of the sites down here as well. I can see S40 right over here in the distance. It is a, an old naval fort. But we're going to leave the beach now. We're going to head on round to Caligran. Something I haven't noticed before here, this rather stunning statue just on the side of Calapatita. So I'm just coming up past the Tui Blue Rocador Hotel. Okay, so I've managed to skip out most of the high street here, just walking around the back way here to Caligran. Just looking to my left here, you, you must go back and check out my other videos from down here in Calador to have a look at the centre, but I will be back this summer. We're gonna take a walk down towards Caligran. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to take a look at the sunbed prices down here. You can see two sunbeds and the beach umbrella is €15.70 Euro for the day. €9.65 Euro for a single sunbed and the, and the beach umbrella or just €6.05 for a sunbed. Now I can see already down here they do have the security boxes on them which is absolutely fantastic. Calvia Council, please take a look. Look at this, all the way down the back of the beach here, we've got security boxes on the beach so everyone can keep their valuables safe. The price is kind of midway actually, it's midway between Porto Poyenza prices and Arcudia prices and Palma Nova prices too. But I think for that added security of having the security boxes, well, it, I think it's just well worth the extra money. But my goodness, check out how busy it is down here on Caleb Grand Beach today. And we're just looking here right at the beginning of May. Now, if this is early May and it's the beginning of spring over here in Calador, imagine what it's going to be like in the summer. I'm guessing really busy. Now, I'm just looking over here as well. I can see we have our first lifeguard out on the beaches here in Mallorca. It's the first lifeguard that I have seen. But let's continue along here and we can get a better look at the beach from this pathway here. Now it's early on in the season I can see a couple of snorkelers down here do have wetsuits on. The sea temperature is a little bit cold still it hasn't had a chance to warm up for the summer. In August I, I'm guessing it's going to be like a bath down here it's going to be very very warm just like the sea temperature was last year. But check out the scenes today in early May. And you can see the main attraction down here. It's just this beautiful blue water. Now, if you haven't checked out my video about my favorite beaches down here in Mallorca, please go and check that out. It's on my channel. I shall put a link to it in the description text below this video and also link it at the end of this video too. And you can see why I do love this area so much too. Okay everyone, this is just a very quick look at Calador today, right at the beginning of May and just as the season has started down here in Calador. Okay everyone, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget you can find me on the Facebook group and my Instagram, also called Mallorca Under the Sun. You can see further things to do in Calador and also my favourite beaches popping up on these videos here, just here on YouTube. I've got more information and things to do, including things to book over here in Calador on my website site on mallorcaunderthesun.com. Thanks very much for watching and I shall see you on the next video. Goodbye for now.